Hey everybody, welcome back to Train Enable, where we help you become fit, happy, and confident through custom tailored workouts. It's Wednesday, and that means another workout. So if you follow us on Instagram, you saw that we went over some jump rope stuff um, prior to the posting of this video. So if you have some space outside, or maybe even indoors to use your jump rope, now's your chance. Because today, we're getting into a 12-minute EMOM, so E-M-O-M, -M, every minute on the minute. So it's kind of like classic interval training. You're gonna do an exercise for one minute and then move to another exercise the next. So minute one, you're going to be doing the jump rope if you have that with you and space to do it. If not, you're gonna do the classic jumping jack. If you pass seventh grade, you should be all good. Minute two, we're going to do a lunge variation depending on what you have around the house. And then minute three is gonna be our final minute. We're going to do a dumbbell push press if you have those. If not, we'll find something else for you. So, first up, we have our jump rope. Obviously, I'm in my home, so I can't show you how to do it. Um, so go check out our points of performance on Instagram. But here's pretty much how it starts. I want my hands at my hips and a little bit out in front of me. Because if I do this, the rope gets really short and there's no way that's gonna pass underneath me. So, as I get ready to rock, it's gonna be one big arm circle just to get the rope going, and then after, it's just gonna be wrists. Most people think it's circles, but all it is is actually up and down, okay? Because as I point down, that's when I'm gonna do that jump, and that rope passes underneath me. So you can do either singles, which is one pass of the rope, or you can do doubles, depending on where your skill is at, okay? So we're doing that for a minute, or the classic jumping jack. I don't think I need to show you what that looks like, because like I said, if you pass 7th grade, you're probably all good. But I did want to go over some lunge options. The first is just the standard step out, step back lunge. So I take a big step forward, everything sinks straight down, knees over the heel in the front, hips over the knee in the back, torso is nice and upright. Press off that front heel to come to standing, then I'll switch. That's option one. Option two would be I come back down into that lunge, but I'm going to jump, switch midair, and lower myself back down, making sure that I'm not jamming that knee into the floor. It's option two. Option three would be if you have weights of some sort, you can hold them at the sides, you can hold them in front. If you want to get real crazy, you can hold them overhead, whatever works for you. And we would do that lunge again. Big step forward, come down, step out. Again. That, those are our lunge options. Minute two. Last minute, we're going to come to those dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, you can load up a backpack with you know, some rice bags, some books, whatever you got. We're gonna lift them up to the shoulder. We're gonna have a little bend of the knee. We're gonna drive through the leg. That's then gonna move the dumbbells. I'm gonna give it a little bit of help through the shoulder as I finish. So full motion, it's like this. Always want those arms finishing straight, covering the ears, okay? Each minute you're trying to find a pace that's sustainable for that whole 60 seconds. Maybe give yourself like five to 10 seconds to transition between. But if you found value in this, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, share with someone else who might need a good home workout. And most importantly, have fun, work hard, get sweaty, and I'll see you guys on the next one.